All right, YouTube, we are back at the shop, man, guys. I told you, man, I did not like how the paint job came out. Um, So I'm fixing it. What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, KKB. We back, man. You guys see, getting some gas, man. I'm about to head down to, uh, to the Lowe's and get my heater for the garage because my heater actually went up and it's too cold to be inside the garage. No heat, guys. This is the north. Um, I don't know about you guys in Florida and all that. I know you guys um, are pretty good as far as the heat, but in the north, it's very cold, man. So we're about to head down to Lowe's and just open and get a new heater. So you guys stay tuned. Hey, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe button. Holiday flavors and uh, if you rock with me again, I appreciate you guys. Just stay tuned and I'll tell you guys back when we get down to the Lowe's. All right, we done made it to Lowe's, you guys. You can see, there go the heaters. Um, this is the one I was looking at, actually, right here for 80,000 BTUs. Craftsman, I mean, for 200. Can't beat it, man. This Delaware, so it's tax free, so it's just gonna be the 199. <clears throat> and this 80,000 BTUs, man, you can't beat it. I mean, I looked on, um, see, this is a hundred dollars, but it's a little propane one. I want to really run on kerosene and diesel, so this can run both kerosene and diesel. So, kerosene high as hell and diesel a little cheaper, so. You know what I mean? Instead of running this propane, this little ass propane one, I think this is only what? 60,000. I don't know. So, yeah. Um, they got this little, it's a little uh, deal going on with these. If you look up online, <clears throat> that says that, uh, or you look on Lowe's lines, that these are, this is popular right now. So, I guess, you know what I'm saying? You really can't beat it for the deal. Um, 200 uh, for 80,000 BTUs. And you run on diesel and kerosene. If you look on Marketplace, which I was buying, I got two other, I bought three off Marketplace. Two of them, I mean, all work when I plug them up and then after a little while, the two messed up, I got one still running. I'm just, I was like, man, for all the money I spent, <clears throat> I could've just came in from the rip, spent a 200 and got a brand new one with a warranty or something, two year warranty. So at least I knew two, three years of winners, I'd be good, I could just bring it back. So this is a valuable lesson for me and you guys, man. Make sure you always do your research first. I mean, sometimes you're gonna mess up, but if you can prevent it by doing some research, make sure you do your research, man. Cause I figured on one heater, I spent 150, on another one I spent 50, and on another one I spent 150. So come on, that's only, what? That's like $350 when I could've just came right here, spent it $200, boom, we got exactly what I needed. And you know what I'm saying? Would've, maybe with a warranty if I prefer, to, if, I, if I decide to get a warranty. And I, and I would've been straight if I go home and play it up it don't work i can bring it back like i said man i would do your research first man i'm out here i see y'all at the shop let's go see this is the type of shit this is what i need i need some damn cabinets for my tools and get it off that damn toolbox off the floor this shit man i'm telling you this is 139 and the top one's 100 but once you buy your compressor start buying all your tool shit i mean your shop shit man this shit start getting expensive man believe it or not like i am working on getting um, some drawers for my tools, but man, I'm telling you, y'all starting up a shop, man. That shit costs, man. Costs, it costs, it costs, man. This shit not cheap. Just keep that in mind for y'all that want to start, start your own little shop, a custom shop or something, man. The tools ain't cheap when they start adding up and you got to get your shop and you got your rent and all that stuff. I'm telling y'all, man. But uh, that's all I wanted to share. All right, guys, we are at the shop. Guys, you see. And I got the heater down here. And that's the old heater that's having troubles with. I'm going to uh, drain the fuel, the fuel out and put it into this one. That's why I got this one outside. I got my stool here set up. So I got to unbox this, put it together, and uh, see how good that thing works. Heat the shop up. I still do got a, uh, one right there, a little small one in right there. So I'll have this one and this one. And we'll be throwing this one away. So I don't know. Um, I need to get this. They get a razor. Let me see if I got a razor right here.
Well, that's it. Got a little doll here. I'm guessing for thermostat, on and off switch. How you fill it up? Fuel gauge. She got a six gallon tank on the bottom. So now I'm about to uh, siphon the fuel out of this one to this one. Plug it up and see how it works. Stay tuned. All right, about to turn this bad boy on. I just plugged it up. I think that's the thermostat right here. So put some fuel in there. I siphoned it out of this one. See that spill there? Boom, turn it on. shop and uh, close these doors up and see how she warm up in here so i do have so i have that and this little one right here I gotta straighten up in here for the tools on the floor that's where we at now 39 degrees guys Ooh, woo. yeah we about to repaint you though um, get all this stuff in here and I later that same evening all right youtube we are back at the shop man guys told you man i did not like how the paint job came out um so i'm fixing some of the shit that i noticed after i painted the car um <clears throat> be honest with you guys this is the first car full car that i ever painted so you know what i'm saying i really don't mind having to go back and fix stuff like that because you know what i'm saying you gotta go through you know little errors and shit to to be able to uh you know correct yourself to be able to be perfect at this shit so it is what it is it came out pretty decent for the first time this is some spots that i'm fixing now guys so i'm on it um, we'll have the car painted back immediately, probably like next week or something like that. Today is Christmas and I'm in here grinding, you guys. See that? <clears throat> Trying a little bit of money back that I made for, you know, that I spent on the shop and this car and all this shit like that, man. So, your boy is definitely on the grind right now. Like I said, this is Christmas and I'm in here working by myself. It's not a problem though, but it is what it is. Space heater works great inside of here. I just had it up to 80 degrees. Um, so I had to shut it down. It was like 80 some degrees, started sweating. So I had to turn the heater off. So, I mean, I got, that's a five star review I say on that heater. There's a decent sized garage here and it did have, you know what I'm saying? I say 80 some degrees in here. So it's a thumbs up for the Craftsman at Lowe's for $200. If you need a space heater, I would definitely you know, jump on that. It comes with like a year warranty or some shit like that. Um, other than extended warranty you can get with, through Lowe's. So. Um, that's pretty much it guys for this one um, on the next video I drop it will be the car being primed sanded, sealed and um, we're going to drop that uh, chameleon back on her guys so stay tuned if you're new to the channel like I said make sure you hit that thumbs up, like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get all videos when I drop and uh, if you've been rocking with me I appreciate you guys and uh, like I said, I'll see you on the next one man, peace Oh, my God.